All right, so this is garlic um, coming up pretty good. Planted it about a month ago. It looks like a mess, but it's actually gonna be a bunch of garlic. Um, got three beds of this shit. And I'm going to cover them up with leaves. Those leaves fell naturally. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna cover them with leaves and um, I'll show you the before and after. But this is all I got for a garden right now. So I got herbs and stuff. Lavender, rosemary, uh, parsley, oregano, I think. I don't know if that'll survive winter, but um, sometimes it does. It's one plant. Actually, it's made it through two winters. It's not, the climate's not that bad here. But I do have to cover this because it's going to start freezing. And that will fuck up the garlic. But yeah, this is garlic beds. I've been doing this for years. It's pretty cool. It's, it's pretty nice to do when you have a bunch of garlic you grew. Um, you know, to buy it because sometimes it's kind of expensive and i like garlic i put it in everything and i mean everything so they even put a, a garlic in ice cream i haven't tried that yet but it will at some point um but yeah this is uh i'm gonna cover this with oak leaves and i'll show you the afterwards later and make sure it doesn't become a short where nobody can interact with it because youtube doesn't have their shit right if they just did shorts the right way they could do it in that format they have but let people share it let people comment in a way that this isn't very engaging that's what I find. Like, I would do shorts, but... Because you get a lot of... Uh, you get a lot of traction when you do shorts, but... So what? You know? It's, and that little dot right there? Huh? That's like a potato. A little baby potato. It's kind of funny. I could probably eat it. I might. But, uh, yeah. That's the garlic bed. Part one. And, um... I'll, I'll uh, do a video later when I cover it with leaves. You know, a few hours later before dusk or something. All right, and then we're going to do a, uh, it's got garlic in there, some of the homegrown garlic, and then uh, we're going to do an instant pot with onions, black beans, uh, I'm going to put tomatoes, more shit in there, I'm not going to put you through all that, but um, getting getting into the winter mode where it's like you start making a big ass chili, and then I have to sleep on the couch because, yeah, it becomes a gas, but it's good, uh, it's good for you, I believe, but yeah, that'll be part of it, this uh, whole little video thing, because you grow the garlic and then you can use it for things like this. So this is it before it starts cooking. Um, we'll see how it comes out, but it's got like tomatoes, all kinds of stuff. Um, I even put like this cocktail sauce I made in there. That should be interesting. Because um, it's like, I'm not gonna use it for anything. I don't know shrimp. Well, actually I do now, oops. But uh, yeah, I shouldn't have done that. But there it is. Um, we'll see how it goes. I'll, I'll, maybe I'll make a video when it's done. Um, yeah, I like chili when it's cold. Alright, so I use way too much water. I'm gonna add like garbanzo beans and stuff and just like, uh, just cook it like, slow cook this thing for four hours, let it taste better. I just wanna make a big ass chili that lasts like four days or something. This is my style of winter cooking. Uh, there isn't any meat in this, but of course you could add some. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, it'll taste delicious when it's done. It's not, that's, that's too watery for sure. These are the garlic beds with the oak leaves in them. Uh, yeah, I got some oaks around here. So, uh, well, one oak. Well, actually, there's a lot of oak. Not just one on mine, or not even. But anyway, there's oaks, um, and there's a lot of leaves. So I use them to basically give it a mulching or a, something to protect the garlic from the freezing temperatures that are coming soon. Um, I did okay. You know, you don't even really have to do this. It just helps. It'll help hold in the heat, and when it snows, it'll form like a little thermal layer for the garlic. And uh, yeah, so three beds of garlic. I don't know why I'm the garlic king. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, and it's actually the easiest thing to grow in the entire world. It just takes a while. But uh, yeah, it grows, and you can't get rid of it, too. It's kind of cool. But uh, by the way, if you see garlic, uh, and you can eat the green stuff, the green, the garlic greens. Sometimes I'll do that, too. Just cut some of the shoots off and eat that. But that's the garlic winterized and ready for 2023 so yeah it should be pretty cool